How far is the market from your home? Audio Jungle The market is about two miles away from my home. How often do you get to cut your hair? Audio Jungle When it comes to my hair, I find that I need to get it cut every few months to keep it looking healthy and prevent split ends. I have longer hair, so I don't need to get it cut as frequently as someone with short hair might. However, I do like to maintain its shape and overall appearance, so I make sure to schedule regular trims with my stylist. Ultimately, it's important to find a frequency that works for your hair type and personal preferences. Do you eat out a lot? Audio Jungle It depends on my schedule and budget. Sometimes I enjoy going out to eat with friends or family, but other times I opt for cooking at home to save money and have more control over what I'm eating. Overall, I try to strike a balance between dining out and cooking at home to maintain a healthy and budget-friendly lifestyle. Do you eat healthy food? Audio Jungle Yes, I try to make healthy food choices in my diet. I believe that a nutritious and balanced diet is essential for maintaining good health and preventing chronic diseases. I make sure to include plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats in my meals. I also limit my intake of processed foods, sugary drinks, and high-fat snacks. By eating a healthy diet, I feel more energized focused, and ready to tackle my daily tasks. How often do you eat with your family? How often do you eat with your family? I try to eat with my family as often as possible, usually at least once a day. I think it's important to spend time together and share meals as it can strengthen family bonds and promote communication. Eating together allows us to catch up on each other's day discuss important issues, and enjoy each other's company. Additionally, research has shown that family meals can lead to better dietary habits and lower rates of obesity and other health problems. Overall, I believe that family meals are an important part of a healthy and happy family life. Do you prefer eating at home or a restaurant? Do you prefer eating at home or a restaurant? I prefer eating at home rather than dining out at a restaurant. There are several reasons for my preference. Firstly, eating at home allows me to have complete control over the ingredients and cooking methods used in the preparation of my meals. This is particularly important for me as I am health conscious and try to maintain a balanced diet. When eating at a restaurant, I often find that the food is loaded with unhealthy fats and sugars which is not ideal for my nutrition goals. Secondly, eating at home is more cost-effective than dining out at a restaurant. I can buy groceries in bulk and prepare meals for a fraction of the cost of eating out. This is especially important for me as I am on a tight budget and need to save money wherever possible. Finally, eating at home is more convenient and flexible than dining out at a restaurant. I can eat at any time I want and don't have to worry about making reservations or waiting in long lines. This gives me the freedom to plan my meals around my schedule and personal preferences. In conclusion, while there are certainly some advantages to dining out at a restaurant, I prefer eating at home due to the control, cost, effectiveness, and convenience it provides. These are some of the reasons why I choose to cook and eat at home as much as possible. What does your father do? What does your father do? My father is a software engineer. He works for a tech company and is responsible for developing and maintaining various software applications. He enjoys his work and is always up to date with the latest technology trends in his field. Does your hometown have beautiful views?
Does your hometown have beautiful views? Yes, my hometown has some of the most stunning views I've ever seen. From the rolling hills to the sparkling rivers, there's always a breathtaking scene around every corner. The local parks and nature reserves offer some of the best vantage points. But even just driving around town offers a plethora of picturesque sights. I feel so lucky to have grown up surrounded by such natural beauty. Do you think it's important to study science? Do you think it's important to study science? Yes, studying science is essential in today's world. Science helps us understand natural phenomena and the laws that govern them. It is the foundation of all technological advancements and innovations. By studying science, we can better understand the world around us and make informed decisions. Additionally, science education teaches critical thinking, problem solving, and analytical skills that are useful in many areas of life. In short, studying science is crucial for personal growth, societal progress, and the betterment of the world. Who do you trust the most? I do trust my parents. What kind of people do you trust? What kind of people do you trust? When it comes to trusting people, I think it's important to consider their character and actions. I tend to trust those who are honest, reliable, and consistent in their behavior. I also value people who are empathetic and understanding and who take the time to listen and show genuine care for others. Overall, I believe trust is built through a combination of integrity, competence, and compassion, and I look for these qualities in the people I choose to trust. Have you ever lost trust in somebody? Yes, I have lost trust in someone before. It was a friend who I had known for a long time, but they ended up lying to me about something important. It was a breach of trust that hurt me, and it took a while for me to forgive them and start trusting them again. In the end, I was able to move past it, but it definitely made me more cautious about who I trust and how much I share with people. Do you like taking photos of beautiful scenery with your smartphone? Do you like taking photos of beautiful scenery with your smartphone? Yes, I do enjoy taking photos of beautiful scenery with my smartphone. It's a great way to capture and share the stunning views of my hometown with others. Plus, with the advancements in smartphone camera technology, the photos always turn out so clear and vibrant. It's a fun hobby that allows me to appreciate and showcase the natural beauty around me. Are there any paintings on the wall in your bedroom? Yes, there are a couple of paintings on the wall in my bedroom. One is a landscape painting with a beautiful sunset, and the other is a modern abstract painting with bold colors. They both add a nice touch of color and personality to my space. Do you think history is important? Yes, I believe that history is very important. By studying the past, we can gain a deeper understanding of how societies and cultures have evolved. This knowledge can help us make better decisions in the present and prepare for the future. Additionally, history can help us appreciate the achievements and struggles of our ancestors and give us a sense of connection to previous generations. Overall, I think that learning about history is essential for anyone who wants to have a well-rounded education and a broader perspective on the world. Do you often go to the park? Yes. I do go to the park often. It is a great way to get some fresh air and exercise, and it is also a wonderful way to enjoy nature. I sometimes go to play sports with my friends or have a picnic with my family. When I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed, going to the park and taking a walk can be a great way to clear my head and relax. Overall, I think that going to the park is a fantastic way to spend some time outdoors and enjoy the beauty of nature. How many countries have you traveled to? I haven't traveled to any country yet. What country would you like to travel to? If I had to choose one country to travel to, it would have to be Italy. The combination of delicious food, rich history, and stunning scenery make it an unbeatable destination. I would love to explore the winding streets of Rome.
visit the ancient ruins of Pompeii, and take a gondola ride through the canals of Venice. Of course, I couldn't leave without trying authentic Italian pasta and gelato. Italy truly has something for everyone, and I can't wait to experience it for myself. Do you like listening to music? Yes, I do. What type of songs do you like? I enjoy a wide range of songs, but my favorites are usually those that have meaningful lyrics and catchy melodies. I tend to gravitate toward pop, rock, and alternative genres, but I also appreciate classical and jazz music. Overall, I think the most important thing for a good song is that it evokes emotion and tells a story. So, whether it's a sad ballad or an upbeat dance track, as long as it moves me in some way, I'm a fan. Do you exercise regularly? Yes, I exercise regularly. I find it helps me feel more energized and focused throughout the day. Typically, my physical activity is at least three, four times a week. This can range from going for a jog outside, doing some strength training at the gym, or taking a yoga class. What are the benefits of doing exercise? There are numerous benefits of doing exercise, both for physical and mental health. Firstly, regular exercise can improve cardiovascular health by strengthening the heart and reducing the risk of heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure. Additionally, exercise can help to maintain a healthy weight, improve muscle strength and tone, and increase flexibility and balance. Exercise has also been shown to have positive effects on mental health, reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression and improving mood. Regular exercise can also improve cognitive function and memory, as well as promote better sleep. Furthermore, exercise can be a great way to relieve stress and boost self-esteem. Overall, the benefits of exercise are vast and varied, and incorporating regular physical activity into your routine can have a significant impact on both your physical and mental well-being. What kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like various kinds of programs, such as movies, TV series, as well as comedy programs. I refresh myself by watching these kinds of programs because these are a stress buster as well as a great source for killing time. Is there a good variety of sweet foods in your country? Yes, there is a great variety of sweet foods in my country, from traditional desserts like baklava and Turkish delight to modern treats like chocolate bars and ice cream. There's something for everyone's sweet tooth. We also have a wide range of fruit-based desserts like compotes, jams, and fruit salads. In addition, there are many pastry shops and bakeries that offer a variety of cakes and pastries, including cream-filled eclairs, chocolate croissants, and fruit tarts. Overall, there is no shortage of sweet treats to enjoy in my country. Do you know swimming? Yes, I know swimming. How and when did you learn to swim? I learned how to swim when I was around six years old. My parents enrolled me in swim lessons at a local community center, and I remember feeling a little nervous at first. But my instructor was patient and encouraging, and soon I was paddling around in the shallow end of the pool. Over time, I learned different strokes and techniques, and eventually, I was comfortable swimming in deeper water. Now, swimming is one of my favorite activities, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to learn this important life skill. Who is your favorite football player, and why? My favorite football player is Lionel Messi. He is a remarkable player and has been a part of the Barcelona Football Club for his entire career. Messi has a unique style of play that makes him stand out from other players in the sport. He is incredibly agile, has excellent ball control skills, and is a great scorer. Additionally, Messi is an excellent team player and is always looking out for his teammates. He is a humble and hardworking individual who has achieved great success in his career. Overall. I find Messi's dedication, skills, and personality to be truly exceptional, making him my favorite football player of all time. What's your dream in your life? My dream in life is to make a positive impact on the world, no matter how small. I want to leave a lasting impression on those around me, whether it's 
through my work, my relationships, or my actions. I want to be remembered as someone who made a difference, who helped others, and who never gave up on their dreams. I believe that everyone has the power to make a difference, and I want to inspire others to do the same. Whether it's through volunteering, donating to charity, or simply spreading kindness and positivity, I want to do my part to make the world a better place. Do you have a best friend, and how is your bond? Yes, I do have a best friend, whom I adore very dearly. We have formed a strong bond over the years and have been through thick and thin together. We can always count on each other and offer support whenever one of us needs it. Our bond is built on trust, honesty, and mutual respect. We share a lot of common interests and enjoy spending time together, whether it's watching movies, going out for dinner, or simply having a chat. I feel incredibly lucky to have such a wonderful friend in my life, and I hope we continue to grow our bond for years to come. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling, an older sister. We're pretty close, even though we live in different cities now. Growing up, we did everything together and shared a lot of interests. While we're both adults now with our own families and careers, we still talk frequently and try to visit each other whenever we can. It's nice to have someone who knows you so well and has been a part of your life for so long. What would you like to do in your free time? In my free time, I enjoy reading books, watching movies, and spending time outdoors. I also like to try new restaurants and cuisines and occasionally attend concerts or other live events. Additionally, I enjoy staying active by going for runs or practicing yoga. Overall, I find it important to balance relaxation and leisure activities with staying healthy and active. Are you more like your mother or your father? And why? feel like I share some characteristics with both my mother and father, but overall, I think I am more like my father. There are a few reasons for this. First, we have similar physical traits, such as eye color and body structure. Additionally, our personalities align in several ways. For instance, we both tend to be more introverted, preferring quiet and reflective moments rather than large social gatherings. Moreover, I have inherited some of my father's interests and hobbies. We both enjoy sports and spending time outdoors, which has allowed us to bond over shared activities. Furthermore, our communication style is quite similar. We both express our thoughts and emotions in a calm and logical manner, making it easier for us to understand each other. Although I do share some traits with my mother as well, I feel that the stronger emotional connection and shared interests I have with my father make me feel more like him. However, I am grateful for the unique qualities I have inherited from both my parents, as they have contributed to shaping the person I am today. Do you have a favorite color? If yes, why do you like it? Yes, my favorite color is blue. It has been my favorite since I was a child, and there's something about the color that has always appealed to me. It brings a sense of calm and tranquility. Whenever I see it, blue reminds me of clear skies and vast oceans, which are both awe and inspiring, and relaxing. I love blue was during a family trip to the beach. I remember gazing at the ocean for hours, mesmerized by the deep blue hues of the water. It was a serene moment, and since then, blue has always held a special place in my heart. Do you think colors can affect a person's mood? Why or why not? Yes, I do believe colors have a significant impact on a person's mood. Several factors contribute to how colors impact our mood, cultural and personal associations. Colors often carry cultural and personal associations that influence how we perceive them. For example, red can be associated with danger or passion, while blue might evoke feelings of tranquility or sadness. Personal experiences and cultural background can shape how we interpret and react to colors. Psychological impact. Colors have the power to trigger emotional responses because they can stimulate various parts of our brain. Warm colors like red, orange, and yellow tend to be more stimulating and energizing, while cool colors like blue, green, and purple are often associated with calmness and relaxation. Do you think people's preference for certain colors changes with age? Why or why not? I do think, I do believe people's preference over certain colors change with 
time as people age and grow and they go through different stages of life, their personality, taste, and environment can influence their color preferences. For example, Children may be drawn toward more playful and bright colors, while adults may prefer more sophisticated and neutral tones. Additionally, cultural and societal factors also play a role in shaping color preferences, and hence, it's not very uncommon for people to change their opinion about certain colors as they mature and undergo different life experiences. If you could change a law in the world, what would it be? If I could change a law in the world, I would change how we approach criminal justice. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel 